What's up, everyone? My name is Alan, founder and consultant at For Now Marketing, and welcome to Braze for Technical Marketers. Today, we're going to go over how to log a survey result as a custom attribute from an embedded email survey that we send from Braze. Let's get started. By the way, this is a tutorial that I've tried three or four times in the past to try to launch successfully and have run into trouble every single time. So I'm hoping that today is the lucky day that we will be able to do this successfully um, while, record this, while recording this tutorial. So first we're gonna start by building our survey. So I'm going to navigate to campaigns. I'm gonna create a campaign, email, I'll zoom in for us a little bit. Let's call this um, customer satisfaction survey. I'm gonna click drag and drop because there happens to be a very uh, nice drag and drop share your feedback survey. So this will be the exact survey that I use. And all the survey links in your email. So this is what I call an embedded survey, um, an embedded survey inside our email. We have horrible, was okay, brilliant, you know, but there are many different ways to um, conduct a survey inside an email. So, you know, another popular example might be how many stars would you give it out of five stars? And you click one to five stars, or you might even be leaving, you know, a score between one to five. Or the classic example is a net promoter survey where you have uh, a score anywhere between one to 10 for how likely are you to share our product or service with another friend. Uh, for our use case, we'll keep it simple. So horrible was okay and brilliant are our three options. And the first thing we need to do is we do need to set a link behind each of these um, icons. So I'm going to set the image link and I'm going to say that our landing page after button click is just going to be our website. Um, so I'm going to add our website link, https fornowmarketing.com. And I'm gonna pause right here. The HTTPS part is required for um, link aliasing to work properly. That was one of the first mistakes uh, that I made that I always just did not catch later on. I would just include just a link um, just because I uh, wanted to keep things simple. But the lesson learned is that the HTTPS part is absolutely required for link aliasing to work properly. Okay, so moving on. So uh, the landing page is going to be the same for all three buttons, but what I need to specify here is a UTM parameter for survey. And we just need to give it a different name, a different um, UTM parameter value, just so we can distinguish from one button click to the other. So this one will be called horrible. This one will be called okay. And then this one will be called Brilliant. Awesome. So now I have three identical landing pages, um, but the links are different, which allows me to distinguish between uh, each of these clicks. And then the next important thing I need to do is go to link management. And we are going to be using link aliases for today's use case. And real quick, a link alias is um, a, a special ID or an alias put behind the links that are sent inside your braced uh, emails so that when a user clicks on a specific link that allows braze to track exactly which link was clicked so right now we are only tracking these three uh button clicks but we can also choose to track this image click, the share your feedback click um, as well as any other buttons that are in the dashboard so going back to link management uh, you do need to enable these check boxes for link aliasing to work for these links. And I'm also going to rename our uh, links, give it a new alias. So I will actually have it match the survey score. So this one's okay. And then this one is brilliant. Awesome, so our email setup is now complete. I am going to go ahead and send the email to my internal user, which has the external ID, Alan123. Uh, make sure control group is turned off so that um, I can make sure to send, uh, receive the email. I'm going to go ahead and launch the email. And if I keep refreshing here, I should expect to receive the survey email shortly. 
And there it is, my survey email. I am not going to uh, vo uh, respond quite yet because the logging custom attribute part is not set up, but here is the email. Awesome. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Brace and build a canvas this time. And the only reason I'm choosing a canvas, actually there's two reasons I'm choosing a canvas. One, uh, the user update step just makes it very easy for us to log survey, email survey results. Um, so I'm going to be using the user update step to log the uh, whatever survey I choose um, and get the score and our custom attribute. But the other part is that the canvas allows us to kind of build different paths, uh, one path for each of our survey score. And we'll see in just a second why that's useful. So the entry schedule for this one, and this is a great um, entry schedule. It's going to be action-based. And we are going to choose interact with campaign. This is the key filter that we want to be choosing. Interact with campaign. And then we are going to choose click alias in email. How convenient, the exact thing we're looking for. Um, customer satisfaction survey was ours. And then we actually do need to have uh, the, the entry schedule, the delivery type uh, set for each of our survey options. So if you are doing something like a MPS email, um, that might be a little bit tedious, but you just need to do the same thing 10 different times. So I will be doing the same thing, one for brilliant. And then notice how that's set up on an or basis. So no matter what link is clicked, um, as long as we put every single link as an entry option for this canvas, that should work successfully. So click alias and email, satisfaction survey, and then lastly, OK. And then one thing to note about this setup is that it is up to the marketing team whether we want to allow users to re-enter this canvas or not. If you do not allow this option as a, if you just move forward like this, then the user will only be able to enter the canvas once and their very first click of the email will be what's logged. Versus if you let users re-enter this canvas, then it'll just be the most recent click where the survey response is logged as a custom attribute. And that also does mean that the user's survey response can change because um, obviously it's the most recent survey response. For now, I will, uh, uncheck this part and then move forward to only allowing my specific user to receive it. Although this part could actually be left as left for all users. Um, and then only the recipients of the survey email will be able to really enter this canvas. Awesome. And then now it's time for our um, canvas build. So I am going to once again, make three separate paths. The first one will be for horrible. Actually, before I name it, uh, I'm going to choose a filter and look for alias. Clicked alias in campaign is the one we are looking for. So it's another semi-tedious setup because we do have to build the path for all three. Um, so once again, if you're building something like an NPS survey, uh, and NPS actually has 10 options and braze audience paths only go up to eight splits. So you do have to get a little creative where you're maybe splitting it to um, detractors, neutrals, and the positives. Um, or if you just want to randomly split one to three, four to seven, um, so on and so forth. But you do need to split the audience path um, in a semi-different way because Braze does have a max of eight paths. So the first path will be called horrible because they clicked alias uh, named horrible. Uh, we'll add one more group. The second one will be for okay. Clicked alias in campaign. This one is for okay. And you can build um, its own Brilliant branch or you could just have everyone else go to Brilliant. Um, logically, it should be the same. So I will just try to save a little bit of time and only leave those two. I'm going to build a user update step. I'll zoom out real quick. And then we are going to uh, log a custom attribute called survey answer. And if you don't have that created already, um, you can go ahead and just type it in, I believe. So let's say I wanted to call it survey answer. Yeah, and you can just create the survey answer like that as well. Um, we are going to be updating survey answer to this first path was horrible. So I am going to be hard coding the value horrible. 
I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this step and then connect it for okay. And then one last time, duplicate this step and then connect it for, and this one was supposed to be for brilliant. Awesome. And I am going to go, I'm gonna go ahead and launch this canvas. So now this email that lives in my inbox should be uh, ready to be clicked. And as soon as uh, this canvas is launched, which it is launched at this point, it's going to look for users who are going to be clicking any of the email link aliases um, from the email customer satisfaction survey. So any three clicks will get me in this email. So let's say we'd love to hear your thoughts. Well, I thought this video was brilliant. Uh, and I'm going to be led to meet my landing page for now marketing with the survey uh, parameter brilliant and then also has Braze's unique link ID. So that's how Braze knows that this, this link has been clicked. I'm actually going to head back to the customer satisfaction survey and see that one message has been sent and and to the link, the alias link has been logged under total clicks. And we can see that uh, Brilliant has been clicked. So we are, we are on the right path uh, so far. We can, Braze has detected that the Brilliant link has been clicked. And then lastly, I want to check if log email survey results has any users who entered. One entry is amazing. We expect zero messages sent because a user update does not actually send any messages. And if we scroll down, we do see that one entry was matched for um, everyone else, which was our brilliant path. And now last but not least, we're going to go to our user profile page, search up Alan123, had to give it a refresh. And then there it is, our survey answer of brilliant is logged as a custom attribute. And what I really should have done is shown us that um, survey answer was not logged or blank before this, but I promise you that this is a brand new profile that was created for this video and the survey answer brilliant has been logged like this. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.